fact, I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. Yeah! like big name shows and stuff and getting the credit he deserves finally you know like he's always been like the underground king you know nobody really knew about him until he showed up on the scene but he didn't have like social media to promote himself you know yeah. and I feel bad cause like I would always talk about Rico Coco and I'm like is that that guy from like Miami that does like the leg locks I'm like yeah that's the guy he was like the originator of like being mainstream with it like the, the prodigy kid at like 16 years old beating up all these black belts from like Brazil and stuff and they're not even knowing who he is you know he's fighting like all these big names and nobody knows who, who the kid is, you know, so it's good to see that he's having his own documentary and getting the credit he deserves, you know. Yeah. I submitted three out of four of my opponents and, you know, just, I don't know, yeah, I felt something in the air that day that, yeah, things were going well, things were going good. That was always been my main goal was to make it to ADCC and be an ADCC champion, you know, when I started grappling, so when I won that, you know, I felt like, wow, okay. I, I did it, you know, I made it here, and yeah, it's been, it's been tough, you know, every time it's tough, 2011, two years after that, <clears throat> same thing, I have to prove to myself that, yeah, I could do it again, and, and make it back, you know, it's, it's not, you don't have a guaranteed invite to get in there, and same thing, I'm in this position again now, so I don't know, hopefully I can get invited, I've won the trials three separate times, but, you know, if it has to be, you know, I'll go to the trials again, try to win it four times now. So, you know, every time it's, it's tough, but, uh, you know, those have been some of the best memories, you know, of me winning those tournaments. is his humility towards himself and towards his accomplishments in the sport. You know, he's he's the type of person that, yeah, he doesn't do this for the glory or the fame, he does it for the love and the passion of the art, and I think that's very admirable, and he's a hero, you know, on and off the mats. You know, he's always trying to help, you know, others, whether it be his family, his friends, or his neighbors, you know, so, I think that that's what makes him so special is that he's a good person with good morals and you know that's what makes him a champion in my eyes and that's why I'm so hard, proud to be his wife. No, I must stop. Sometimes you know uh, uh, competitors who have the have the humble attitude that the Rigo has. You know uh, 
He's a great kid and he's super devoted to the things that he does. You know, uh, ever since uh, we met, you know, and Enrico started training here with me in my gym, uh, every time he comes, he comes a big smile on his face and ready to bang, you know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah, I pick him three, four times every training because uh, it's hard to find someone so brave as he is. So I'm always uh, a big fan of his jiu-jitsu, you know, and I'm always uh, cheering, you know, for his for his success for sure. Uh, Rico Coco is someone who, is, who was born to be a champion, and I'm counting the days, you know, to stand on his side when when he takes it, takes the world by storm. So, Rico, you the man, brother. Keep it up.